and welcome back to some more fun at the Fun House with me, Monica Warhol. Today I'm super excited for the magic I'm gonna bust out in this kitchen. This lunch or dinner, depending on how much you put on your plate, is going to be so hot. So get ready, get set, and we are going to be bringing the sexy, sexy back, back to me. meatloaf. So what are we doing here? We, oh, oh, a lump. We are making potatoes sexy. And we're using an icing bag. And when we hit a lump, we just use a knife. And we're making like little pretty sexy little balls. It's all about press, woo! All about presentation. Woo! It's so much fun. <laughs> Whoopsies! My lump! My, my lump! Lady 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 lump. Lady. Check it out! <laughs> I love them! I love it! I love it! Look I at our potatoes! I want some more of it! I want some more of it! They're so pretty! And then we're just going to put those in the oven roll and it's going to be awesome! They are just going to turn golden brown perfect presentation pizzazz! Mm. It's delicious. All right, let's mix up our meatloaf. What we're gonna need for our meatloaf is one and a half pounds of ground beef or turkey. So just shove it in the bowl. <laughs> Easy, Bubba. Two thirds cup of dry breadcrumbs. Dump it in. Good boy. One cup of milk. Yeah. Gently she goes to slightly beaten eggs. Just beat it. Just, Just beat, beat it. it. Ah! Three teaspoons of instant minced onions. Yeah. And one teaspoon of salt. And we're going to mix all that up. And I think we're ready to start sticking it in our tins. And then we will be ready to dress it. <laughs> now that we're all mixed up, we're going to bring sexy to the meatloaf by pressing bits of it into our mini cupcake pan. <laughs> now, if you're making a big sexy meal and not a sexy lunch that Carrie and my girls from Sex in the City would be waiting for, and you're cooking for your jumbo, hardworking, manly man. Mr. Big. <laughs> He's not that manly. Um, who was manly? Definitely not Steve. Definitely not Steve. I think Miranda was more manly than him. <laughs> I think so too. But if you have a manly man, then you need something more like this. That's for your manly man, carpenter, fireman, policeman, hardworking, blue collar, sweating his booty off, the man wants some meatloaf, but he still deserves sexy. How are we doing there, Ro? Almost done. Good. I think that once we're done with that, all we have to do is dress our meatloaf sexy. As you wouldn't go out with a perfect accessory, our meatloaf is going to be dressed to the nines. So we're going to need to mix up our dressing. And what we need for that is what I'm going to tell you about. Are you ready? So now, Roman, we need to mix up our perfect accessory to dress our sexy little meatloaf bites. And what we need for that, you're going to mix together one fourth cup of ketchup, three tablespoons of brown sugar. Go ahead and dump it in. There you go. And one teaspoon of dry mustard. I usually double my dressing mix, Roman, so that I'm sure to have a juicy meatloaf. And so that I have extra. Stir it up so that I have extra in case I want sexy garnish. Stir, stir, stir. Stir it, stir it. Whip it. Whip it good. Whip it good. 
And then once we're all mixed, we're going to start putting them over our sexy little meatloaf bites and dressing them to the nines. Three. Okay, now that we have our dressing all mixed up, Roman here is dressing our sexy little meatloafs to the nines. You're doing a great job there, Ro. And remember, if we don't have it completely covered, we can base them while we're cooking. Mm. And once we're all finished, we're going to bake this in the oven at 350 degrees until it looks done. And since I've never done this in little sexy cupcake tins, because my old West Virginia church ladies that gave me this awesome meatloaf recipes didn't do it that way. They would do it in a classic glass loaf pan. So I'm going to guess it's not going to take more than 20 minutes for these sexy little bites. But be sure and check my website for my final conclusion of my baking time at monicawarhol.com. <laughs> Welcome to the fun house. It's what it's all about. <laughs> Let's cut. magnificent potatoes. I kind of go and taste as I go and get the right consistency and um, I used my icing bag and I piped them out. We piped them out and look how magical. Then we set them in the oven to broil with just a little bit of butter on top and oh my gosh the sexy is going to happen to our magical meatloaf. Yes it is. Roman are you feeling it? It's beautiful. I could just cry. Roman, we officially have sexy meatloaf. So now we're gonna make a sexy plate. So we're just gonna fork our little sexy meatloafs right out. Look how gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. We're just gonna stick those on our plate. Gorgeous. I think Samantha and Carrie would be proud. I think they would. And Miranda would eat six. <laughs> and Charlotte, if she was preggers, would eat ten. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, did you see how big she wants in that baby? I know, but she's having a baby. You're supposed to be big. So what we're gonna do, Ro? Yeah, but Natalie Portman didn't look pregnant in Star Wars 3 and she had twins. Yeah, but she was like 12. <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> So we're gonna make it sexy by sticking a little sprig of rosemary in there. Look at that. I love it. So culture. It's so cool. Woo! Rosemary's flying all. Oh, go get it, dogs. Look, it looks gorgeous. That is the sexiest meatloaf I've ever seen. But you need good kitchen shears to cut rosemary. Take note. Otherwise, it won't work. And then we can take some more rosemary and dress our plate on the side of our lovely taters there. And then we made some delicious vanilla butter glazed carrots. Kids love them. They're like candy. It's not even funny. He's right. And we're just going to arrange those on our plate. And oh yeah, we brought sexy to the meatloaf. Oh, look at that. All sexy points to meatloaf. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at that. That's gorgeous. Delish. Oh yeah. I need to look dodgy for this. 